both defendants, Alexander Cote, El Sheikh, El Sheikh, uh, made uh, appearances via video uh, from the Alexander Detention Center. Um, earlier today, they had their detention hearing. Where they both were waived that hearing and uh, will be detained further, pending further proceedings. At the arraignment, they were represented by counsel. Both defendants waived formal reading of the indictment, entered pleas of not guilty, and requested a trial by jury. The case was found to be complex, and so the next hearing in court is set for January 15, uh, 2021, which will be a Friday. And in the next 90 days, discovery, uh, which means evidence, will be provided to the defense teams to review. Um, there's also a discussion of the fact that there will be some classified discovery involved, and so the defense attorneys in this case, some of them need to have their clearances re-upped. Um, and due to COVID and the issues with visiting with clients and exchanging of paperwork, um, we'll make sure we meet our discovery obligations, but obviously it's a bit more complex. What I can say about that is that is, that is a decision that is up uh, to each defendant individually uh, and their counsel. So those would be good questions to direct to defense counsel. Um, I can tell you on behalf of the United States, anytime defense counsel wants to talk to us, uh, we always have an open ear. Um, and and you know, if they want to talk to us, we'll, we'll listen. Uh, beyond that, I can't promise anything. Obviously, there are very serious charges um, with very serious penalties. Uh, and as I mentioned at the Department of Justice yesterday, we take a victim-centric approach uh, to these cases. And so under the Crime Victims' Rights Act, any of those types of conversations, um, we'd also consult uh, with the victims.